Now, in the case of rainfall, how will you calculate or how will you estimate the runoff of a particular catchment area? So, we have um, nine, these nine methods in order to estimate the runoff. Now, we will see one by one. The first method is empirical formula. So, under this, you have the first method is Dickens formula. So, these formulas are developed by certain scientists. So, Dickens formula is Q is equal to C A part 3 by 4. So, where Q is the design flood. Let me first explain what is design flood. So, while uh, designing any important hydraulic structure, uh, we have to first calculate the flood that is likely to occur during the life of that particular um, hydraulic structure. Uh, hydraulic structure in the sen uh, sense, uh, it may be a dam or a reservoir or anything. Any structure which um, stores water. So, according to the highest flood value, we will be designing that particular hydraulic structure. Okay. So, for example, if the hydraulic structure is a very small one, uh, like uh, culverts or if it, if it is a drainage, then uh, the system will be designed for very less severe floods. But in the case of a big uh, storage structure, like uh, dams, uh, what will happen? The flood is uh, designed for a high magnitude of flood. Okay. Or in other words, the uh, hydraulic structure should withstand the maximum flood limit. So, that is this design flood. Okay. So, Q is the design flood and A is the uh, area of that particular catchment area and C is called the Dickens constant. So, this constant value can be um, taken from this tabular column. So, this uh, formula is mainly applicable in uh, North India side. Okay. So, in North Indian plains, um, the value can be taken, the Dickens constant or the C value can be taken as 6. North Indian hilly regions 11 to 14. In Central India, it is 14 to 28 and coastal Andhra and Orissa is 22 to 28. So, you can, um, uh, the corresponding value can be taken from this tabular column and you can substitute here to find out the design flood. And the next method is Rive's formula. Rive developed this formula uh, for a uh, eastern uh, coastal side. Okay, the formula is Q is equal to C A part 2 by 3. So, again Q is the design flood and area is the, um, uh, sorry, A is the uh, catchment area. Then uh, C is the Rive's constant. So, Rive also gave some constant values. Uh, areas within 80 km from east coast, it is 6.8 and uh, uh, within 80 to 160 kilometers, it is 8.5 and limited areas near hills, it is taken as 10.2. Then the next formula is English formula. Here, English developed uh, a formula for design flood. Q is equal to 124A by root of A plus 10.4. So, here, uh, if you know uh, the area of the catchment alone, you can calculate the design flood. This formula is uh, basically designed for uh, watersheds in Western Ghats in Maharashtra. Next are envelope curves. So, the envelope curves for India is determined by Conversane and Purpo. Uh, they actually collected a lot of information from the rivers of India. Uh, that is the North and Central Indian rivers and Southern Indian rivers. And they developed this envelope curves. So, you can see uh, this figure. Uh, so, the drainage area is marked here. And corresponding to that, what is the drainage value you can calculate. Okay. So, you can um, draw a straight line. And according to the drainage, you can calculate the discharge value. So, for southern Indian rivers, you can use this envelope curve and for northern and central Indian curves, uh, rivers, you can use this curve. Next method is physical indication of past floods. So, by knowing the uh, values of the past flood, we can calculate uh, the discharge by using a very simple and standard equation that is Q is equal to AV. So, here again Q is the discharge and uh, A is the cross-sectional area of that particular catchment area and B is the velocity. Then the next method is a uh, rational method. This method is very effective in urban areas with a drainage area of less than 200 acres. And uh, you can use this formula to calculate the um, discharge that is Q is equal to CIA by 3.6. Here C is the runoff coefficient, I is the rainfall intensity and A is the area of the catchment. Here the rainfall intensity is uh, calculated by using IDF curves that is intensity duration frequency curve. So, these are the IDF curves. So, if this curve is already prepared, then according to the duration, you can calculate the intensity of the rainfall. 
okay so this curve is for 25 years it's already prepared and uh, this curve is prepared for 50 years and this is for 100 years if this idf curve is there you can easily calculate um, uh, the discharge by taking the duration and intensity but if this idf curve is not available then you could uh, use this formula ic is equal to p by tr into tr plus 1 by tc plus 1 in order to calculate the uh, intensity of rainfall so here p is the rainfall and tr is the uh, duration of rainfall and tc is the time of concentration of that particular rainfall so if this tc value is not known then again this formula can be reduced into a more simpler one that is ic is equal to p by tr now um runoff coefficient uh, that is this value okay uh, under rational method you have q is equal to cia by 3.6 so i we have found out by using uh, idf curves method and then c c is the runoff coefficient so runoff coefficient can be always found out uh, by using this tabular column so uh, the uh, the terrain type is given and we can uh, uh, take the value of c corresponding to each type of terrain so if it is flat residential area then the value of c can be taken as 0 0.4 similarly the others now, next method is probable maximum precipitation chart. This we have already studied in the first module. This is prepared, these charts are prepared by Meteorological Department of India. And there are two methods under this. One is metrological method. So, it can be, uh, the discharge can be directly uh, find out uh, from, from a graph. And the statistical uh, study of rainfall data, they have used the formula that is average rainfall plus k into sigma where k is the frequency factor and sigma is the standard deviation we have already studied this uh, uh, portion in the first module so this is also one method under the estimation of runoff then rating curves so this is a rating curve this is prepared um, um, by noting the stages in a river or a, or a stream and uh, discharge okay so the uh, type of stage is plotted against the discharge. Now, what is stage? You can um, see this figure here. So, this is a stream flowing and uh, the the starting or, or the origin of that particular stream uh, is, is called end stream. So, that area will be um, a uh, slopey area and when it uh, flows towards the side, the medium, the middle portion uh, is uh, moderately sloped and that is called mature stream. And uh, finally, uh, when it comes to a more um, 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 what plain area, it is called uh, an old stream. So here this stream is divided into three particular uh, I mean stages okay so this is the first stage this is the second stage and this is the third stage so according to the stage we can find out so in each stage the discharge value will be different so according to that this uh, rating curve is prepared and by um, checking the stage we can calculate the discharge by drawing straight lines okay next is unit hydrograph method we'll be studying in detail about this uh, in the following uh, topics so, unit uh, hydrograph is a graph which is plotted against direct runoff and discharge. So, here you can see uh, when uh, a rainfall starts, the runoff will be uh, zero, right? Then, uh, after um, when it continuously falls, uh, some of the soil um, layers will be absor will be absorbing the initial uh, rainfall. Then, the runoff starts, right? So, the runoff is starting here. And, and with the increase in intensity, uh, what happens? The runoff value raises. And at a particular point, this is the peak point of runoff. Then uh, runoff, uh, when the rain, the intensity of rain decreases, the runoff value also decreases. And finally comes to a uh, stable portion. So if you have already calculated uh, the runoff due to 1 centimeter of rainfall, then uh, how much uh, the, uh, the rainfall increases? With that value, we can find out the runoff occurred in particular amount of rainfall. Now, the next um, method is SCS-CN method. SCS is Soil Conservation Service and CN is Curve Number. So, this method was developed by USDA, that is United States Department of Agriculture, Natural Resources Conservation Service. And um, this was um, first, originally it is called as SCS method and now it is SCS CN method. So under this we have a formula Q is equal to P minus IA by P uh, the old square by P minus IA plus S where uh, P is the rainfall and IA is the initial abstractions. What are abstractions? The initial loss we could say that is uh, that includes um, evaporation loss or uh, it can be the loss due to infiltration or uh, even 
interception we have already studied all these terms so the loss um, the initial loss is termed as the initial abstractions so that is ia then s is the potential maximum retention after runoff begins that is how the runoff uh, continues in a certain period of time then this s can be calculated uh, by using another formula 1000 by cn minus 10 so the cn is a curve number which can be calculated according to the area uh, the um, how the area will be how the land use of the area or uh, what is the uh, type of soil in that particular area according to which the cn can be calculated this is already a tabulated value so we could directly take the values and substitute here okay then the me uh, next method the last method is flood frequency analysis so you could see a, a flat frequency curve here so all the uh, uh, recurring um, rainfall is calculated in this particular graph uh, the rainfall or the discharge in one year the discharge in 10 years 20 years till 100 years are already recorded in this flat frequency chart and by using this historic records of peak values we can calculate the uh, runoff of a particular period so these are all the methods